Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Bree, on this morning. I am coming to you with a word from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And it says, um, Trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. When things seem to be going all wrong around you, trust in God. He wants you to trust in Him. Sometimes... Sometimes he allowed things to go wrong. You're praying for a financial breakthrough. You're praying for this job. You're praying for this car. You're praying for this. You're praying for that. Well, if you take your time off of the situation that you're praying for and spend time in his word, you will see how he starts to move for you. When you take matters into your own hand and don't get in your word, it delays you. It delays what he's trying to bless you with and things like that. You have to, you have to, you have to seek him. Get in his word. Pray. Read his word. Meditate on his word. So that the blessings that he that you are asking him for shall come to pass. Because when you do when you don't do that and you look for other ways, like you look for other sources. Say you're asking God for a financial breakthrough. But here you go and you're going to your mother, to your grandmother, to your homeboy or whatever to borrow money. That means you're not trusting in God. So he's gonna let you rip and run and tell you to go out all your resources. And he's gonna keep delaying you until you realize that he is your source of everything put all your trust in him he shall not fail you he's going to provide everything that he needs to provide for you you have to just keep putting your trust up in him um and sometimes that is hard to put your trust in god especially when you have bills to pay especially when things uh you feel like there's no outlet for the things that you need to take care of but god will allow you to go through things to see that he is God and he is God all along by himself. You cannot um, do things that you want to do because he wants to bless you. He wants what's best for you. But you just need to start trusting in him. And like I said, that's a big thing that us humans have. We have a problem with trust. Another thing is that sometimes sometimes we don't see an outlook on something we don't see that there's a bigger picture there's always a bigger picture there's always a bigger plan for our life we have to learn we have to learn to take our eyes off our situation and circumstances and keep them on the lord because that's what he wants to do when i read my word this morning that's what came up proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6 and I was like, okay, Lord, I hear you. So what am I praying to you for? And I'm not trusting you in that, you know, because that's what I got for that. Like I've been praying for something and it's not coming just because I'm not trusting in him. So, okay, God, show me the area in my life that I'm not trusting you in so I can fix the area. Because God, the ones who God love, he chastises. And who much is given, much is required. So I want to just be right. I want to be right in his eyesight. I want to make sure that I'm paying attention to what I need to be paying attention to. And I'm doing the things that I need to do on the strength of him. That's what I am focused on. I'm not focused on nothing else, but just doing his will and his way and making sure everything that is aligned up with each other. Because sometimes we allow ourselves to get wrapped up, taken up, tied up in situations that it's not serving us it's not for our higher good and i don't want to be um in a situation that's not for my higher good i want to continue to get into my calling i want to continue to stand into my purpose no matter what situation or circumstances that i am faced with i want to continue to run to god because i know who he is and i know what he can do when i give the problem over to him it's a lot of things that i want to handle trust me a lot of things that i would love to handle on my own but i know that he knows what's best and i know he is going to fix the situation he's going to work the situation out for me on my behalf uh i just have to give the situation over to him like um i, t I teach my kids that you need to just give all your problems to god because he wants to lead he wants to guide you god says my children know my voice and the voice of the tragedy they shall not follow God says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. He wants to bless you. He wants to keep you. 
he wants to make sure that you have everything that you have ever asked him for everything that you're seeking from him he wants to give it to you but at the same time you have to take your hands off of the situation and i know it's hard nobody know if nobody don't know i promise you that i know i know it's hard to not put your hands in the situation not work on something just to trust uh excuse me a moment you guys and i know that um all things work together for the good of those who love Christ. I know these things already. But again, sometimes sometimes the flesh is weak when you're not spending time in your word, when you're not praying and doing the things that you need to do to have that intimate time with God. Get in your Bible. Like I tell you, get you a scripture a day and meditate on, the, on that scripture. And, you know, um just go from there start slow but spend time with him so he can move on your behalf he want to bless you financially he want to bless you spiritually mentally emotionally he want to do all these things for you but you have to allow him to come in you have to you have to be willing to surrender to open up like god it is me standing in need lord i need you to show up and show out in my situation i need to you to work things out for me lord god god save me from me because most of all, that's we don't need to be saved from nobody else. We need to be saved from ourselves, from our own mind. Sometimes we'd be trapped in our mind, thinking things that is not even true. That's because the mind is a battlefield. So, sometimes you have to be like, God, I need you to save me from me, Lord God. Only you can save me, Lord God. I can't save myself, Lord. I need you to step in and work this thing out for me. Work this situation, these circumstances out for me, Lord God. I surrender to your will and to your way. We have to be willing to talk to him. Really get down to the nitty gritty and talk to him. Any problems that you feel like you're facing, write them down. Banish all that out of your life. Get all that out of your life. Write everything down that you face that you want to get rid of. Write it down on a piece of paper. And then burn it. And then after you do that, write down what you're trying to manifest. If you're trying to manifest a new home, write down, set your intentions good to manifest. You can manifest anything, any single thing that you want, you can manifest it. You just have to make sure that your intentions is right where they need to be. You also have to make sure that that's what you really want in your heart. You have to surrender. When I tell you surrender, you have to, you have to surrender to his will and to his way no it's not going to be easy walking listen <laughs> i believe i really believe this in my heart being on the battlefield for the lord has been the most toughest i've been through a lot of things in my life but this walk right here with god has been one of the toughest 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 journeys of my life because i get tested left and right i get tested left 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 and right and sometimes i allow myself to go back to my old ways like sometimes i be i know i could pray for a situation and take care of it but then again i don't be one to pray i be one to put my hands on it and take care of a situation and then that's not what god wants for me because I didn't came so far and I'm so precious to him. And like I said, when you spend time with God, he's going to show you and God showed me the things that he had for me. I choose my pathway already that I was going to go on. So it, it be hard on me when I don't do what I supposed to do, what I know is right to do. It be hard on me because for the simple fact is that I know that, uh, right now, the things that I should be doing and I'm procrastinating and not doing those things well that'd be hard on me because you know God has told me what he wants me to do distractions is one of our biggest things the distraction could be your children distraction could be your mind distraction could be cleaning up your house distractions come at all given times I don't care um, if my, if my baby's throwing stuff all over the house, I got to spend time in my word. And then after I get through from spending time with my word, then I will go clean up. But I have to, when I get up in the morning, I have to fall on my knees and pray. 
I have to, have to, have to, um, get in my word because, uh, the enemy, he attacks me hard. And the reason why he attacks me hard, because he know the calling I have on my life. He know that the, the abilities and the gifts that I have, and he wants, he wants me to use my gifts, not for good. He wants me to be on his team. So I have to stay prayed up all at all given times because he tests me with my children. He tests me with people that I love. He tests me on a daily. Just so I feel like I'm Job, shall I say, that he will test me just so that uh, he feel like when he put, keep throwing me against the wall that I'm not going to oh, eventually that I will break. Well, he see now that I won't break. So now he comes with bigger and heavier tactics. You know, like he tried it. He tried stuff with my children. He he just tried. Not right there. Oh, well. He tried all kind of stuff. And um, he seen that that stuff didn't break me. So he not. So he's contemplating. Now, let me see what I can do. Um, to get to her and he sees that nothing is not working so it's making him more angry and more angry and more angry so then he tries to get through my children but they're covered I'm covered they're prayed up at all times my children are always prayed up I pray for them I cover them in the spirit um, all the time so but like I said it's really hard because um like I said, because nobody wants to keep going through spiritual warfare all the time. Spiritual warfare is very real. Nobody want to keep going through spiritual warfare after a while, all the time. Because sometimes you be steady roaring in the spirit. So sometimes you don't even be getting sleep like that because you're falling on your knees praying. Constantly praying. Constantly praying. When you sleep, you're praying. Your angels and overloads going to fight on your behalf. And sometimes... Sometimes it do get difficult and it do get hard because you're like, oh God, I just want to get some sleep and I want to get some sleep. But you have so much on your plate to do, but I don't care what you have on your plate. Always remember to get into your word and read because when you feel like you are weak, you're really strong. Um, I had to learn my own strength. What, what I will tell you is I had to learn that it could be a hundred of them. It could be a hundred people in a group coming after me, but I'm stronger. I'm stronger than that hundred. The strength that's within me is stronger than that whole hundred group. I had to learn it. It took me a while to learn it, but I learned it. And I'm grateful that I did learn it, that I learned my own strength. And um, a lot of people see my strength and they see my power. They be intimidated by that. And that's why they allow themselves to try to do stuff to me and um try to stop my light try to stop my shine but i tell people all the time you cannot stop what's for somebody because what's for them is for them period it might be delayed but it would never be denied and that's what they fail to realize they fail to realize that when you do something to be careful of the seeds you sow because you're going to reap the harvest when you do something to try to hurt somebody else and bring somebody else down that all that stuff come back up, up on you. You have to be willing to take what you issued out. You issued that stuff out. Well, when it goes back to you, you cannot take it. But you wasn't thinking about that when you was doing stuff to other people. And then you want to play the victim and do all the rest of that. No, you don't do that. So, you know, you guys, teach your children to trust in God at all times. Let him be priority in your life, no matter what you're going through. Make sure he is strictly your priority. He's your first. He's your all in all. Make sure that he is being, um, make sure that you're being led and guided by him by all means necessary. Make sure that he is the one that's keeping you, you know, um, I know at times it might get hard or frustrated or you stressed out over the situation, but always remember that God has you and what's for you is for you. He's going to continue to keep you, but 
You have to continue to trust in him. I trust in God with everything. I'm talking about I can walk up in my house with my eyes closed and trust that God is going to lead and guide me everywhere. I, yeah, you have, that's what, that's how you have to get, you have to get sure within yourself. And when you show sure up within yourself, doors open for you. Blessings fall for you. Seek his favor with God. It's also favor with man. And, and I mean, it's amazing to have favor with God because God will put you in all kind of positions so that man can bless you. So, um, like I said, trust in God at all times. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Continue to worship him in the spirit and in truth. You know, praise confuses the enemy. I know some of y'all don't believe that, but praise does confuse the enemy. Get you a church song, your favorite song. Get to worshiping and praising God. The enemy ain't going to know which way to go. He's going to flee from your house. He's going to flee from wherever you at. If you feel like the enemy is in your car, get in there and do your praise and do your worship and watch how he flee. He will flee so fast from you and from your situation. So, um... Yeah, and I know it. I know for a fact it is like real hard sometimes. It gets hard. This journey gets hard. But take your physical eyes off the situation and put on your spiritual eyes and see. This is all working out together for my good. This is all going to be okay for me. It's going to be okay for me. I'm going to get the glory. God's going to get the glory out of this. Everything that I'm going through... <laughs> It's for God. It's not for myself. It's to help me to get to the next level. For God to bless me. For me to learn a new chapter. For me to become higher ranking in the spiritual realm. Everything that I'm going through is not just for me. It's to help my brother, my sister, my neighbor. Because we don't know who's going through what. Always remember that. Always trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. And know that God will not fail you. He will not fail you. He will always be there with you. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. He wants you to um, nourish by all means necessary. He wants to be the alpha of your life. He wants to bless you in so many ways, but you have to trust him. And you have to trust him wholeheartedly. I'm talking about surrender your whole entire heart to him. And like I said, I know that can be frustrating at times because especially if you have been betrayed by so many people, it's hard for you to trust anybody. But God is not anybody. He He's your alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. He's the one that's going to restore everything that is lost to you. He's the one that's going to wipe your tears. He's the one that's rocking you when you are sleeping. He's the one that is keeping you even though you shouldn't be kept. He's loving you even when you don't love yourself. He's providing for you even when you can't provide for yourself. When you're in a deep, dark depression, God is with you. When you're contemplating suicide, God is with you. When you're battling a court case, God is with you. Like, a lot of people use divination for when they have court cases and all kind of stuff like that. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is just put your trust in God because eventually that stuff going to come back on you. Like, you can be doing stuff for years, but eventually all the stuff that you have done will catch up with you. That's why it's not good to do that stuff. That's why it's always good to pray. Pray, 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 pray. If you can't pray, get your prayer partner. They can pray for you. Like, I know like a couple of uh, parents be teaching their children all kind of uh, ungodly evil things that they shouldn't be practicing or doing. But I teach my children. Prayer is your biggest weapon. I don't care how big somebody is. I don't care what it is. I don't care the judge tell you facing 55. Man, listen. I'm telling you something I know for a fact. Get on your knees and pray till you can't pray no more. And watch how the Lord moves on your behalf. He's going to move on your behalf. But you have to. You have to, you have to trust, trust, T-R-U-S-T, him, by all means necessary. And sometimes us people don't want to do that. We don't want to be trusting in God. We don't want to be trusted because we feel like God is going to hurt us because other people hurt us. We feel like um, 
God's not gonna uh, move on our behalf because we allow people to play games with us. We allow people to bring us down. We allow people to hurt us. When God was only trying to help us, and God was warning us about those people, but we, on the second hand, didn't trust our own intuition because we had trust issues. But now that you're learning to trust God and trust in the things that he has, excuse me, y'all, my nose itch, and he trusts trust God and trust the things that he's letting you know, then you're moving up. You're elevating yourself. God is elevating you. He wants to. He wants to shower you. He wants to bless you. He wants to um, see you succeed by all means necessary. He wants you guys to surrender to him, to his will and to his way. He wants you to pray. He wants you to shout to the to the uh, hills which come at your help. He wants you to worship him. He wants you to know, my daughter, my son, my children, I have y'all. Anything that you need, I can provide it for you. Trust in me. Trust in thy own heart and lead not to your own understanding. Lead, don't lead to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge. Acknowledge. He created everything. Acknowledge. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is God and he is God alone. Acknowledge these things. Acknowledge that he was the one that woke you up this morning. He clothed you in your right mind. Acknowledge that he was the one who given you the strength. Acknowledge that he was the one that gave you the career. Acknowledge he was the one that gave you that home. Acknowledge him in everything you do. When you turn that water on to wash them dishes, acknowledge that it was God that kept that water on. Acknowledge that it was God that gave you the strength to keep the water on. When my child sleeping. Whenever you um have um sickness in your body and you healed, acknowledge that it was it wasn't no medicine. Listen, God is the healer. Herbs heal you. It ain't no medicine that you gotta deal with to heal you. God heals you. Trust me, He heals you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. It's not no medicine, it's God's mercy and his grace that are healing you. God is allowing you to be blessed by all means necessary. And you need to learn to trust in him. Trust in him at all times because it's him. If none of your children is sick, that's God. Thank you, Lord. Trust in him. If if uh, the people is about to repo your car... Trust in God that he's going to send you a financial breakthrough to take care of your car. If you're about to get evicted, trust in God that he will send somebody. Trust in him. Everything work out for his good. When the one door closes, another door opens on your behalf. God wants to bless you. He wants to do all these things for you. Remember to trust in God today. I don't care what it looks like. What nobody tell you. Trust in God. You go to the doctor, you get a bad report. Trust in God. He's doing it for you. I promise you. He's working it out. Be patient. He's working it out for you. He's going to continue to work it out for you. So just trust in him at all given times. Well, I love you guys. I wish you guys a blessed and prosperous day. Um, remember, today's task and today's goal is to trust. Trust in the Lord. Because he is so good. He's so worthy to be praised. He keeps us even though we don't deserve to be kept. He loves us. He wants only, only, only what is best for us. He wants only what's best for us. So be blessed, people.